Hi guys, in this video I'm going to explain the concept of the Lotus 88. That car uh, debuted in, um, in Formula 1 in 1981 but was promptly disqualified because uh, according to the FIA it infringed the regulations. And the way that car, the concept of that car is, is very interesting because it had a so-called, it was so-called twin chassis car. And what that means, I'm going to explain right here. Let me first draw a couple of things. Um, let me first draw the tires. Just take black. Okay. I'm going to do the four tires of the car. And mind you, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, explain that concept of the car with a very simplified model i'm not gonna draw you know the way the car looked in real life but just a simplified model so you can understand uh, the concept uh, of 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 what is i need some more space i better widen that here up oh, yeah that's better and here all right so basically, now let me take blue. So basically, you had the first chassis looked something like that. All right, and from the other side, a similar now those were the side pods of the car and they had some bulkheads connecting both parts so that was the first chassis of the car and it, th those were the side pods they housed um, the radiators and stuff like that but more importantly they had that underwing profile which generated that huge downforce the car was producing and uh, remember in 1981 we had ground effects and that means those cars were producing huge amounts of downforce through this inverted wing profile in the side pods now this uh, uh, let's say part of the car was attached to the wheels with a very stiff spring you know, I wear very stiff springs. I mean, one spring at each corner. And the point of those stiff strings was when you have a ground effect car, you don't want the car, let, let's, let's look at the car from the side. You don't want the car to wallow either this way or that way, you know, due to braking or like acceleration, or you don't want it looking at it from the front. You don't want it to roll over, you know, when turning. You need very stiff springs because what disturbs the aerodynamics or the ground effect is such wallowing or rolling or pitching you know so what you want is this very stiff car if you look again at the car from the side you want a very stiff car here's the underwing profile in the pods and here's the here's the pressure coming down through the aerodynamic force that should be vertical down and what you don't want you don't want this wing to move you know to to move either like that or like that so what you want you want a very stiff car and, and this underwing profile in those side pods was connected with, with very stiff springs. This way, this thing was producing massive amounts of downforce and not getting disturbed by the rolling and pitching of the car. However, the bad thing about stiff springs is that it renders the car undrivable. A driver, uh, uh, especially a racing car driver, uh, driving a car at high speed with practically no suspension or, or let's say extremely stiff suspension has a very hard time because he's going over every bump he's, he's notices he gets every bump he gets every you know every every single crack he can feel every single crack in the, on the circuit and so so the car becomes very undrivable and uh, you know the, the driver would, would have serious vibrations he could he couldn't see properly because everything is shaking up and down so it's a quite a tough time so with the Lotus, uh, that's why uh, ground effect cars then in 81 were very tough to drive, you know, because of that hard springs, uh, because of those hard springs. So what the Lotus 88 tried to do is that, okay, they said, okay, the aerodynamic package, that ground, afford, uh, ground effect system is, is very stiffly sprung. And now 
comes the other, the second chassis, and do it red. And the second chassis fits exactly in that in that gap here, like that. Let me just draw it. Oops, that's not good. Let me just do a straight line. The second chassis would go in here. All right. In that second chassis, you would have the driver. Let me just do it a bit three-dimensional. In that chassis, you would have the driver sitting here. Behind the driver, you have the fuel tank. And behind the fuel tank, you have the engine. And this red part is also connected the wheels through a different suspension here the springs of that part are way softer than the blue springs so meaning that when that car is when that car is is is, is uh, being driven the blue part doesn't move up and down very much because it's very stiffly sprung but the red part moves up and down very nicely just like a normal pre-ground effect car you know so the driver has an easy time driving that car and does not feel every single bump because he's got he's 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 got those red springs connecting him to the wheels whereas the ground effect system where the driver is not seated is stiffly um is stiffly uh, sprung and that what the car does that red part and blue part move relative to each other up and down so you would see if you see the car if you if you see the car in action you would see the blue part is basically stuck to the road and that red part is going up and down um, you know because that's a way uh, softer springs than the than the than the blue part and that was the concept of the of the Lotus 88 you know just uh, so that, so that's here like the cockpit that's where the driver sits and that's a fuel tank and engine so. And that's what what the what the what the FIA did want, or or that's why they disqualified the car because they said that was like a twin chassis car, you know. And at the end of it, the Lotus tried it again with the I think in Silverstone they produced a, a modified version of that Lotus 88, the Lotus 88B. But again, it was disqualified or, or not allowed to race. So basically, it's, it's it's too bad because that's a really really nice concept of a car. And I guess a lot of people banned it because uh, you know they didn't they didn't want to spend money to copy that concept, so it was much easier to to ban it. And um, uh, such a car would have made ground effects much more bearable and much more uh, those ground effect cars much more drivable than 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 the normal cars because the normal cars were having very stiff springs and they were practically undrivable. Drivers were complaining of neck problems of of, uh, of, of uh, you know, not, not seeing clearly, huge vibrations, and so on. So basically, that's in a nutshell the concept of the Lotus 88.